Now, though, at least 127 people have died and more than 250 people have been injured after an earthquake struck northwestern China. The epicentre of the quake was in the remote Gansu province. Tremors were also felt in the neighbouring Qinghai region. A second magnitude 5.2 quake struck neighbouring Xinjiang hours later on Tuesday. These are the latest pictures showing the destruction and collapsed buildings in Gansu province. Rescuers are braving freezing weather with temperatures below minus 13 degrees Celsius to search for any survivors. The government has dispatched teams of rescue workers to assist local emergency crews. Our correspondent Laura Bicker sent us this report. The only warning was a low rumble. Before the strong, shallow quake turned village homes into rubble. Murder, murder. Bedrooms of small brick houses crumbled. People were buried as they slept. Hundreds of rescuers in two remote provinces spent the night digging to find survivors, knowing the first few hours of any earthquake are critical to save lives. Some were pulled from the debris. More than 500 people were taken to hospital. This commander told the media that his teams had rescued 60 people from the rubble in the worst hit province of Gansu. Those who'd managed to flee their homes did their best to huddle together to keep warm in freezing temperatures. The BBC was sent this video from a member of the local Muslim community who told us 50 people died in his village. He said the scenes were heart-wrenching, too tragic to look at. China's response has been swift. Hundreds of people now need shelter in villages scattered across the Tibetan plateau, while the country is experiencing one of its coldest winters in decades. Rescuers said the temperatures were difficult to endure. But while some people are still missing, they're also determined to keep going. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Beijing.